The flipped classroom is where students are doing work at home and then when they come to class we're doing higher level application problem solving kinds of activities. So instead of them coming to class and one of us lecturing, clicking through a PowerPoint where they're just sitting passively, they're going to watch the PowerPoint or watch a lecture at home. They're going to work through some assignments, take a pre-class quiz to make sure that what they did at home met the learning objectives and that they're ready to actually apply and work through some problem solving activities in the classroom. Those might be a card sort task where they're asked to prioritize and categorize information. It might be a scenario full on with equipment and working as a team. It could be where they have built a model of say an infectious disease and so that sharing that they could conceptualize it, actually understand proportion and size and how the information is, is delivered back and forth between students. Um, the other element you get when you flip the classroom is the opportunity to observe some of the affective behaviors that when they're just sitting inert in a classroom, it's really hard to tell. But when they have to defend their answers to another, when they're teaching somebody else, they learn communication skills. They learn how to interact with somebody. They you're, And you're able to assess all of those things. How do they talk to patients? How do they treat other team members? And these are things we want to know before they leave the classroom and are unleashed on the unsuspecting public. I think some people are thinking that as long as they do an activity or run a scenario, they have flipped to the classroom. But those are folks, I think, who will run into the problem of feeling like they don't have time to run scenarios or do activities in the classroom because they're still trying to lecture. As educators, boy, we have a hard time letting go of the lecture. We love to hear ourselves talk. So what we want to do is, if you want to talk, fine. We'll record it, post it online. Now, we've done that for you in the PSG resources that have been put together in the EMT Flip Classroom. So you don't love to see yourself on camera? No problem. We've recorded somebody else doing that lecture. Students can watch it or they can read the ebook or they can listen to the audiobook. And then when they come to class, everything you do, you'll know that you flip the classroom when everything you do is student-centered, active, and they are engaged in learning. That's where real learning and emotion is provoked, and it's really emotions that are the glue that make the lesson stick. You want transfer into novel situations in, in on real calls, in real patient situations, when these students are at work taking care of other human beings. And how do we get that? By making sure they're engaged and on task, learning occurs. Thank you.